One of the reasons so many people dislike marketing is because of the ulterior motives behind it. You're watching a video that is supposed to help you with a particular problem or uh, reach a goal that you want, and then you find out later in the video that they're actually trying to sell you something, the real thing that will sell you, solve the problem that you came to the video for. Or sometimes it's a video series that you opted in for over email and later you realize, oh, they're actually trying to sell me this thing. I, I couldn't really solve the problem they were promising to help me solve in the, in the video series, right? Or they've, they've uh, stoked your desire through that video series for a particular thing that they want you to buy that you didn't expect to want at the beginning of the video series, okay? This is why so many consumers dislike marketing. It's, it is creepy. The definition of creepy is to have intentions towards somebody that you don't reveal until later, right? Or that they had to discover themselves. So I encourage all of us to purify our intentions in our marketing to purify our intentions so that if we are doing content to help our audience, just do the content to help our audience rather than secretly try to sell them through our content on something. Now, we do want to sell sometimes, right? If you believe in your product or your service, then be upfront and tell people, hey, this is a product that I love to, that I, I believe that you're gonna benefit from. And how do you know you're gonna benefit from that? Because you've gotten to know your audience over time through your content and through your connections with them. And so you can speak directly to what you know about them in a piece, in a particular post or a particular email when you're trying to say, hey, you know what? I have a product that I'd like to let you know about. I think it's really gonna help you with X, Y, Z, or have a particular event that I'd like you to experience. I believe you would enjoy because of A, a B, C reasons. So in your content, be pure, and in your selling, be pure. And there's my dog, by the way, trying to guard me for some reason, saying, don't come up here, this is our hill. <laughs> it's not, um, but that's, that's what Buddy does. Uh, so I apologize for that noise. But whether you're marketing, whether you're doing content, be pure in your content. If you're doing selling, be pure in your selling, okay? If you're doing networking, be pure in your networking, rather than uh, all of us have had have an old friend approach us. Oh, it's been a couple years. I haven't seen, I haven't heard from you, or I haven't seen you around. I hope you're doing great. How are your kids or whatever? And then they go into selling you on their business opportunity or their product that they're they're wanting to, to sell people, and it it feels off, right? It's like, oh, were you reconnecting with me because you actually liked me and wanted me to be your friend, or were you connecting with me to really just sell me on that thing? It's mixed, isn't it? And when it's mixed, we start to doubt that particular friendship or that relationship. This is why so many people hate network marketing because they've, they've gotten approached by old friends who appear to be old friends but really are trying to sell them on the thing, right? Be pure. If you're trying to sell someone, just, just sell them. I mean, I, I really recommend you build an audience through content and then you are direct when you are trying to sell something, you say, hey, I've given all you this content and I want to share this product and you may or may not be for you but it, for some of you I think it will be really helpful and I'm going to continue doing videos and doing content or whatever but I just want to let you know that this is available that I'm really excited about this that I really believe in this right be direct when you are direct in that piece of communication that's what I'm trying to say so so let's continue and I, I need to continually remind myself of this that's what I you know that's why that this message is important for me too. Let's continually observe our intentions in our communications and be pure in our intentions. And that way, we will enjoy our communications more. We will no longer feel icky about our marketing. And our audience will also enjoy our communications more. They won't, be, they won't feel like something is off. So I hope this is helpful. Always open to your questions and your comments. And until the next video, I wish you well.